A question that did more than strike a raw nerve in many following the government's directive to effect a law that alters the cause of domestic workers' terms of service beginning 1st May 2011. The response overwhelming indicative of the divisive nature of this all too seemingly sensitive matter yet one that must be addressed regardless. The outcome showing that 20% of the respondents who included domestic workers who sought anonymity thought it a positive move. Na maisha kujua sana ni haki kupoa mshahara kama alfu saba melewa ni haki sana hiyo. 80% felt it was a bridge far out of reach. But it is this particular text message sent to Citizen Television that perhaps painted a picture of just what it would mean for some to pay their domestic worker 7,586 Kenya shillings. Sasa wana pumtia mfanya gazi ukimlipa elfu saba na watoto utawalisha kitu gani? Basically she's living with you, so you're giving her food, she's sleeping there, you're buying her like sanitary towels, you're buying her oil, you're buying her... As in she's just she's getting everything that you're getting also in the same in the house. So basically I think maybe like five thousand would be okay. An argument that perhaps resonates in some households in the country and one that underscores the task that lies ahead for the government, particularly the Ministry of Labor, which is yet to speak regarding the phase of implementation. What remains a delicate balance. Well, mama wako tofauti. Kuna wengine ukimwambia yeye mambo ya mshahara anaona heri wende achukue mwingi mwenye atakubali na ile pesa ndogo. The Ministry of Labor has not been been funded accordingly. As a result, the ministry has been lacking enough inspectors to go and inspect and enforce the law to the latter. Harmonizing the weighty issue of a people grappling under the rising cost of living while having to cater for the needs of their domestic workers. Sally Milu, Citizen Weekend.